Everybody in the 313. Hey, I'm about to say, double tap, tell you like, girl, I'm so used to be no girl. You're gonna fuck my little life up, girl. I'm gonna say, girl. You know what's about to come out of my mouth, girl? It's about to say double tap, shut a lot. But y'all can uh, press the like button. That'd be cute. Hey. Welcome to Miami. I'm getting dressed, y'all. The queen has arrived. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's going on, Greedy? What you got going on? Yeah. What's going on, man? What's up, Auntie? What's going on, nephew? How you doing? You dad here yet? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Y'all ass better be ready to be lit. Yeah, I'm all right. Ready for the what? I said, y'all ass better ready to be lit, man. I want to go to, like, South Beach. They're supposed to be out some shit going on today. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> well, we plan on, you got some spots you already plan on hitting down here or something like that? Uh-huh. I said you got some spots that hey you already planning on going to? Well, you know, Trina, we have his uh, uh Miami takeover and I'm booked at that. So uh after I, I get my little I ain't going to that shit. I ain't gonna catch you, bro. Uh uh. No, but after I, after I finish that, I'm out and about. I'm outside. What you mean? What time is that shit? After that, I'm going to shake a tail for Huh? That's like early in the day? No, no, no. That's uh that's tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What you trying to do today? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what they got to do with me today. Well, uh, I'm going uh, to text you. Okay, man. All right, well, it's... All right. Welcome to my end. Pop, pop, pop. about to show my pussy. This is my motherfucker, man. But before I show my pussy to my hand, bitch, I had to come on here and ring a bitch up. Period. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Listen, 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 listen. I love y'all. I love y'all so much, the nation. Trust the first. I love y'all. But this is what I want to tell y'all, okay? I just blocked over 100 people. Block them. Block them. Listen, if I'm ringing up somebody, it's just that. I was just watching on Drip Island. Okay, period. <laughs> oh, I be slaying Drip Idol. Last night was the only time I didn't sleep, but I've always been to all of them. So, yeah, I've got to ring a bitch up. Oh, of course, girl. You know what I'm saying. Girl, you know I say no motherfucking thing when it comes to these nice days. So, bitch, one thing about Shaky, bitch, I don't play games played zero. I'm not going to get with these nice days. So, and these nice days, these motherfucker recognize who the motherfucking queen is, and that is moi. Okay? All right, so, let's get this, let's get this situation away here. Let's get this situation, okay? Let me tell y'all something. I love y'all too. So listen, okay? This is not hard, okay? It's so simple. To me, it's the most simplest thing in the world. If you don't like who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about, block me. You making your comment is only torturing you because I'm going to block you and not pay attention. In fact, every time I get a comment, it's just making sure, making me know I'll do the right thing and post the most shit. But you got to get a badge over here. What I need a badge for? What is the badge? Thank you. Thank you. Period. Girl, you know when that tap and stuff, you know I got something to say. So understand what I'm saying, okay? And let's just make this perfect little motherfucker clear, okay? I'm not the one, two, three, or four to play with, okay? So listen. Stupid Penny is a dummy, okay? She lies. You heard me? She thinks... So listen, every time somebody tells her something that's truthfully about her life, she always responds with, our money. Remember that time uh, Lou did all that shit? She posted her bank account. Bitch, you really miserable like that. You really miserable. Now, I know a lot of girls in the comments are like, oh, well, I'd rather say, my area is... She's giving me beautiful. I don't have a view. I'm not giving a fuck with y'all. But you do see little, the little palm trees and stuff like that. So I'm not giving a fuck. The views on the motherfucking other side, bitch. <laughs> they put me on the side with no view. 
But um, what I want to be known and, and talked about What I want, so what I'm going to talk about and be known and be made known is the fact that, bitch, this whole day threatened my life. Y'all know that publicly, right? So you know, <laughs> this, I'm in Miami, yeah. So if I'm obsessed, bitch, would that make you over here telling me about that? If I'm obsessed, why is you over here telling me? Yeah, how? Let me ask something. How does her brag about her house help you as a person? And, and and no say it's good. You see a black woman in the house, good, cool, cool, whatever, whatever. But let me say something. You know what I'm saying? If you really look at it and you ask me, how is that helping you? You know what we talk about over here? Now, I don't have a big old pretty house. I have a nice little quaint house, right? But I got it. And you know what we talk about here? We talk about, I don't, but I don't rent. <laughs> I pay a mortgage. But you know what we talk about our civil nation? You know what we talk about? We talk about credit. We talk about finance. We talk about ownership. And we talk about happiness. We talk about brand building. And we talk about those things. And so Jews that I learn throughout the way I teach you. I don't just show you something and just say, okay, now love me because I have these things, these worldly things. As a black woman, you heard me, and we could talk about this biblically. And see, I'm talking intelligently. I'm not going to go do all that cursing and holler like I did yesterday. So we're looking for that. You're not going to hit that. But I'm just talking about some real shit. Biblically speaking, we have to, you know, we talk about being uh, so... Let me show you what she's showing you. She's so, and I don't agree with that. But it's like, what are you telling me to value these worldly things that you didn't even obtain correctly? You obtained by swindling the poor black people that you sitting up there in front of them and stunting in front of? Like, exactly my prayer. Like, I'm saying, who buys this makeup? But the people you stunting in front of. Like, okay, I took your money to stunt on you. I took your money to stunt on you. In my case, if you buy something with me, I'm not only giving you the product, but I'm also giving you the, the tools. I give business classes. Go look it up if you don't think I'm lying. I give Jews for free. I don't talk about that. So I'm trying to figure out why y'all, why are you defending someone that took your money to stunt on you? She took your money and don't, and, and let you ask her about starting a business. Let you ask her about promoting or how you build your brand. She's going to block you. She's going to ignore you. That's what she's going to do. I have never turned nobody away that asked me for some business jewels or something like that or credit jewels or ownership jewels. So before y'all go and tell me I'm just wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong because she have a big pretty house that she does not own herself, that obviously is somebody else's name. I've proven that a hundred times. Do your, your deals to say, what am I really getting out of this? I'm defending somebody that took my money to stunt on me. Make it make sense. Why, why do I have to pay you so you can stunt on me? Teach me something. Tell me something. Give me a juice. Give me the pass. Or open the door for me. Or somebody. Don't just take more of my money. Oh, we got to sell. Oh, I made $50 million. Now. <laughs> With a choke on in there. And a big strong nose. <laughs> Money that she's going to trick off on her, going to trick off on Sage and all these other men that she keep buying. Who is not happy with us? See, y'all missed the perm. This bitch is miserable. See, I'm broke and happy. No shit. I ain't broke, but you know, I'm happy. Confident, comfortable with myself. I feel like I'm a, I feel, I feel like I'm all right. I could stand to lose a pound or two, no shade. But at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Bitch, the only thing being fat ever stopped me from getting was a Honda and outfit, bitch. That's the only thing that ever stopped me from getting. It never stopped me from getting no man. And it stopped me from fucking on a baby, somebody baby daddy. It ain't, it ain't never stopped me from doing nothing. <laughs> a Honda and outfit I can't get. <laughs> so this big strong nose heifer sit up there taking your money, telling you she's taking your money, and then stunting on you with it. She's not stunting on me. You know why she's not stunting on me? <laughs> you know why? I'm going to tell you why she's not stunting on me. Because I know the truth of her miserableness. I know how, how, I know the truth of her crying at night, surrounding herself with homosexual men, black tag, tag, <laughs> these homosexual men to, to encompass what, what, what he is. I know the miserableness it feels when you got all this money and no man still wants you because of your ways. That's the miserableness. I know her house is dirty. I know this. 
I know she got all these loans she paying back, trying to get forgiveness for and stuff. I know this. I know. So at the end of the day, the stuff that she's doing to you in the same room with their duck eggs, the stuff that she's doing to them, it's real true, true, true buffoonery. You know how it's true? Because if it was authentic, you could talk to a person that's authentic at any given time in per. You can see eye to eye with somebody that's authentic. You can have an intellectually stimulating conversation with somebody that's authentic. The reason why, when the truth hit her, she run from it. The truth hurts. Nothing else. Why did she threaten my life? Because the truth hurts. Everything I've ever said about her has been proven correct. Everything. There's not one thing I have said about her that has not been proven correct. I'm betting a thousand. Don't come in here defending her. Don't ever, don't come to my page defending somebody that wanted me dead for telling her the truth. And then doing it respectfully. See, this is what you're not understanding. She don't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. When that shit came out, I DM'd her. I told her, look, I'm not going to run with this story. But this is what they're saying. You might want to kiss her. Now, this is my error. I'm going to tell you what my error. See, this is what y'all don't understand. The history behind it. My error was that I thought she knew. And to this day, I don't think she did now. But I did. I thought she knew of it. I thought she was part of it. Because it just fits her. It, and it fits the scheme of her partner, Judy. That's what made me feel like, because this is something Judy would do. But now that I sit back on it, I really realized in my mind, she was a victim of that man. Not so much, not so much a part of the a part of the plan, but a victim of that man, as I think about it now. Then when it was going on, I thought she perpetrated. That's what I thought. I really did think that. However, in light of that and find out some more information, I don't think he did. I think he just, I think he just, you know, don't really love her. He loved the money. He loved the comfortability of life that she provides. Uh, and so he just achieved her. <laughs> so that's just, I mean, you can't, you can't burn it down no, 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 no different than that. I didn't say she couldn't hang with gay men. Who said, wait, who said she couldn't hang with gay men? You can hang with who you want to hang with. What? I never said she can't hang with gay men. Don't come, listen, you're not going to defend somebody. So listen, you're not going to defend her over here. She will not be defended over here. She's not, listen, this woman wanted me dead. Not only did she publicly state this, she publicly offered to do it. And oh, well, also on a drunken or uh, she might not, I know she got the memory loss thing and everything like that. She can't remember past good, but I have the records. You can go on the tube and find it. But at the end of the day, if you want to, but at the end of the day, this woman actually not only wanted to be able to told us how she was going to do it. The fuck? And I'm supposed to be like, okay, hey, no, bitch, every chance I get, listen, if somebody publicly, in a public forum, in front of millions of people, tell them, listen, I want this homosexual dead. Bitch, it's, not, it's always violence. It's always violence. It's, it, it, listen, it could be 10 years from now. And she posts, I got a new pair of shoes. Bitch, I'm going to drag that shoes. I'm going to drag them pair of shoes through the mud. I don't care if they fucking do the Christian Louis sign. She's not going to win over here. So your two options in this is not to change my mind. Okay? Why? Well, bitch, no. I, I don't know. For what? I did make a police report. Actually, you ain't even lying. I did. Actually, I did make a police report. I made a police report. Um, I made a police report. I did make a police report. You're not lying. I do have a police report. I actually do. Um, I did make a police report. That's not, that's not true. I was living with my mom at the time, and so I made it in, in their parish. But there is a police report about her. Yes, there is. She, you're not even lying. I did. I, I remember going to the police. I made a police report and filed a civil suit. Jada, because it, she threatened my life, sweetheart. If that's not enough for you, this is your two options. See, listen, I'm trying to explain to you now. You keep asking me the same question. Let me bring you up here because you look like a burnt page. So if you don't come up here, you get blocked, okay? Just then you know. So you just, you just say something. She can't be written. I need the receipts to believe that. Uh, baby, I don't put, put some of the receipts on this girl. But if you don't want to believe it, I'm not going to do all that again. Come on. Now, okay. How you doing? Hey, Shaky. 
let me say something. If I tell people, there's 800 people in in this live right now. If I tell these 800 people, I want Jada dead. I can't stand her. I want her dead. In fact, I got 10 veins for the person to do it. How would you feel about me? Oh, see, I ain't know the history. I ain't never, you know, I ain't know what really happened. I just be saying you. That's what happened? Yes. No, that's my the, right. the difference is, the difference is, she wasn't on live with eight hundred people. She was on live with thousands. Well, more, of people. yeah, I'll with get thousands that, I of get people. I, I, I understand. She has millions of idiotic followers. What if somebody said, "Oh, really?" Somebody, I could be out. I could be to you. Yeah, I could be out in the streets with my children, and somebody be like, "Oh yeah, let, let me get this money because blah blah blah." And knowing, knowing she don't want to do that, she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want me. Because right. of course, the, the first person to go. But well, she real life hell fans. I know exactly what you're saying. But I'm people is, but people are crazy. I could be out with my children, and so the reason she wants me there because I told her the truth. Yeah. Well, so I understand what you're saying. See, I, I didn't know the whole background of what okay. happened. What, that, you, that, and that's you know, what so everybody don't know because a lot of people keep like, he hating on her and this. And I understand what you're saying. I understand that. Yeah, so listen, I am hating on her. I'm going to always hate <laughs> on her. She doesn't want me alive. She wants me to be the. She wants me to be removed. She wants my Ooh, life to I be removed. I do remember that happening. Be, because her nigga, her nigga don't love her. Because her nigga, her baby daddy, Fucking on this hoe, that hoe, little children and everything, embarrassing her. She want me dead. Yes, there is a police report. I did follow. I did follow police report. Listen, listen. At the end of the day, listen. I filed a police report and a civil suit. So y'all, y'all tripping. Y'all yeah. tripping. I filed both of them. So don't tell me what I ain't do. And this is, and this has happened two, three years ago. So y'all need to know. So you got. Well, you, you, I, you, I, I, ain't, I ain't really look at it like that, but yeah, I understand all your health too. Right. Y'all can't talk uh, talk about it. We from the come on, like she want me dead. I, I, How do you talk? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How do you talk to somebody that wants you dead and has the means to do it? I don't understand how you even think. Right. That is that's true. not something we talk about. How do we talk about that? We never gonna be friends. This woman told, and then she disrespected the memory of Messi Maya, who was not only a friend but it was basically wait, my what mentor. Wait, what happened about Maya? She said, "Was she said I'm gonna make happen to Shaky? What happens to Messi Maya?" Oh, now that's too disrespectful. Like seriously, so that's Messi Maya was not only my friend. Cool was not only my friend, but cool, uh, cool was a friend of mine. But, you know, but I went to jail before y'all knew him as Messi Maya. I knew him as Cool. We used to be around everywhere, and, and so living in the Abbeville, being the same and all the life, I knew him as Cool. And so, so, so at the end of the day. That, like, that's deeper than they. That's your, you knew him, knew him. Like, that's your people. We, New Orleans is not no big that's, city. That's everybody know everybody. Yeah. Everybody know everybody. Yeah. So, so how, so what you talking about? Be friends. Ain't no friends. I'm going to always bring up. Every time I think about that hoe, I ask myself, what would, what would Messi Maya do? And Messi Maya will bring that bitch up from head to toe worse than I can ever do. Messi Maya will bring her up better than, any, anything I run her up on, oh, Mr. Maya will do. Mr. Maya will do ten times. She's gonna make her take her fucking Instagram and everything. She done, yeah. So <laughs> I real. can't even. She's not even getting what she really is doing. She's not even getting the due deals what she really deserves. To be honest with you, because if Maya was here, if the shoe was on the other foot and it was me and 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 Baby, and, and, and Mr. Maya, I, he 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 would be huge if he was still here. Right. So you, you telling me that I got to work. So who, how do I be See, I already with... was ranking. See, because y'all think I'm just tripping. And so you ask me why I'm doing this to her, why I'm hating on her. I'm no, always I never, I never really knew ain't the no, background of what happened. That's ain't, no, ain't no peace. Ain't no peace. Mm -hmm. Peace my ass. I'm going to always choose battles. So right. anytime I get a chance, get used to it. So two things will happen over here. Either you don't want to see it, and so you got to leave, or you can just stick around and... and, and and, and take part of the festivities. Yeah. That's it. Well, I hope I hope you get some peace with that, because that, that's too much going on. I ain't going to lie to shake it. And you be seeming like you have a lot going on. You you be on your shit and shit. That's beneath you. I'm going to show you something. I'm about to pull it up for you so you can see it. And it was on live. Yeah. 
Y'all heard what she said? You heard what she said? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be sitting at home waiting on the news, bitch. You're going to be like Mr. Maya. Keep playing. That that part right there is so disrespectful. Like that, oh no, you you bringing up the dead. Like that's the New Orleans legend. Y'all can't hear. Hold on, let me put it up. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, cause it's breaking up. But that's the New Orleans legend. You don't. That, that's, wrong. that's doing too much entirely. You heard she say I can pay. This, 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 hold on, let me let me break. Hold on, I gotta oh, look at the oh, Let me finish oh. dropping because they can't hear because of you. Who's your name? I'm gonna be sitting there waiting on the news. Bitch. I'm gonna be sitting. This is what she said. Listen. Okay, that's why she Friendship to that, or when I'm supposed to kick my foot off her neck, bitch. Every bitch, every chance I get, oh, well. bitch, it's gonna be on there. And so this time, and listen, let me show you that. If that wasn't enough, this is, I got something else for y'all. Since y'all want, we, we do receipts today. We do receipts today. This is what she did to me. Now let's understand that. First of all, disrespecting Messi Maya. That's not what happened with Messi Maya. Number one. Number two, you never Messi Maya would have run your bitch ass up every day of the week, every day. Now this is not new news. This is the old news. This is a long time ago. Okay, but I'm just letting y'all know how it started since y'all asking, and I'm so wrong, and I'm so this, and I'm so that. This is how it started. It is not the fact that this bitch, I don't even bitch, fuck that hoe. But at the end of the day, Messi Mai would have run you up every day of the week for the next 10 years, but you'd have been every day woken up, Messi Mai would have been ringing your ass up. So don't play with Maya. You best do your best sticking and shaking. Because bitch, you because every night and I just lighten up, take the foot, I lighten up the foot and be talking about somebody else, Eric Amino or, or Kiki White or somebody, stupid head, stupid gonna come along and I'm gonna talk about them, not Messi Maya. You would have been a topic of discussion for bounce songs and everything that said. So so let's 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 get that clear first of all. Messi Maya would have did you 10 times worse than what I did, but I'm gonna tell you this. I am a grown ass man to hear this person say, listen, I'm gonna get you touched. I got so much money I'm gonna do. It. And I'm supposed to be like, oh, I'm supposed to pay? Girl, no, ma'am. Everything this girl do, I'm gonna be on it. Everything this girl do, I'm gonna be on it. That's not even a question. Now listen, and not only that, check this out. So she's talking about the girl who had the abortion for Luke, right here now. She's talking about the but she's telling the girl, go kill your baby or something like that. Go kill your baby, bitch. Bitch, have your baby, bitch. This, 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 this shit your grandma, your grandma's going to do it, bitch. This, 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 old, this old time shit. Have your baby, my girl. $10,000. Show her the receipt when I gave you $10,000. All right. All so, now this is my error. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you where I messed up at. Because I thought she was the one that was supposed to pay the $10,000. But, and I thought she knew about it. Because when I DM'd her, and told her I'm not, you know, she sent me a DM say thanks. As if, because I told her I'm going to go touch the floor at first. But when she said thanks, I'm like, okay, she must know about this. She must know about this. She must know what's going on, right? So I'm trying to say, but I think, though, she didn't know. And he was keeping it a secret from her. I think that now. I don't know. 
But I, I'm telling you my thought process then. So I was very accusing the Torah of her because I thought that she knew, but she didn't know. I'm thinking now. So this is what she's not saying. It's public record. So okay, you basically proving my point. She think so. <laughs> obviously, of course, this turned out to be corroborated. As y'all know, the story goes about what happened with her and Lou. But at the time, her and Lou was in a great, wonderful, loving relationship, I guess. But okay, whatever. So she's telling you it's amazing what you can find on public record, bitch. So how do you? What the fuck? Bitch, that's what I find it on public record. What am we? Okay, whatever. So she's defending him right now. She was defending him at the time. But you're not making it make sense, actually. No shame. So listen, she's on the video saying, show me where I give you 10K, show me where I give you the 2,500. But I think, so at the time, I really thought she did. Like I said, now, I don't think she did. I think she really didn't know. I think she found out probably when we found out, or after we found out, no shit. But then I was on, but I was on our heads, but you knew, you knew. But after somebody threatens your life, you automatically think they're the enemy. So. <laughs> Threat, bitch. I threaten you 10 more times, bitch, but I bet you I'm gonna stand on it. Bitch, I bet you won't say my name no more, bitch. Bitch, and so listen, this is why I'm on her neck for real. Because in this video, she says, threaten me, threaten me, I bet you won't say my name no more. I want to see, so I say her name every chance I get. Understand, she's defending, understand what she's doing. She's defending a man who obviously cheated on her. Against me, somebody who told her first, in private, in personal private. But instead of a uh, 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 true thank you, I get talked about. I'm a messy punk and all this other stuff like that, whatever, whatever. So I said, oh, you must want it public if I'm all that. I'm going to show you because this is what a messy punk do. And so I made it public. It is what it is. Now I'm threatening. I, I, but listen, so listen, so understand. This is what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? Look, I, look, I try to go home all the time. What a bitch. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see where they're standing on it at, Mo. Bitch, I play with you on every blog in the world. And, and then you play with my, you play with me. You talk about you want me dead because your nigga cheating on you. Bitch, you can't keep a nigga, bitch. You got all this money, like you saying, you can't keep a nigga. So this, so before y'all come and talk about me, this person is telling me she wants me dead. Why am I still breathing? One thing I never did about her, I done cussed out. I done call her every, I done call her everything but the child of God. I never wish death upon her. I never would do that to nobody. I don't wish death upon nobody. That's that's for the law to determine when you go or come. I never wish death upon nobody. And I never play with her kids. So by you wishing death upon me, I'm a father to two kids. Understand that. They depend on me to eat. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to figure out, you playing with my kids. 
and you wishing death upon me. I never did that. So y'all can say, I call her miserable, I call her ugly, I call her stink, I call her nose big, I do all that. I never play with her kids, and I never wish death upon her. I'm telling you what it is. So before y'all come over here and talk about what Shay can do, that's the, so this is okay to you. This is okay to you. This is okay to you. In fact, I don't block somebody for talking about her kids. I don't block people for talking for playing with her kids. Let's get into it. This nigga play with too many people. That's not your problem. No matter who I get into it with on the internet, that's not your problem. That's not your thing. That's not your to determine who the fuck I play with and who the fuck I don't play with. That's not your... If I play with whoever, if I cuss out whoever on the internet, that's not your to determine. Bitch, you either watch me or don't. Bitch, that's it. But you watches me so much according to not Sage, but the other dude between Sage and Lou. He, yeah, the other dude between Sage and Lou. All she do, she don't even clean the house. All she do is sit down and watch what the fuck I'm doing. She got all her bird pages following me. And in case I make a mistake and block one, she gonna always have a backup one. And she, all she do is sit down and watch me and see what I'm gonna do next and who I'm gonna talk about. That's what it is. It's not my business. Girl, what the fuck is I'm a block? Hold on. You got to come up or you're going to get blocked, mom. I'm just letting you know what it is. Come up and tell me to my face what my business is. But you still up here to tell me. How the fuck you going to tell me my business? I'm wrong. Now, what it was? Why? Is, come on, show your face, too. I'm you? I ain't about to show my face, but you oh, wait, very sure. Hold on, you ain't going to talk this. You, you, you ain't showing your face. You ain't talking about nothing. Get out of here. Let's see what you talk about. The other girl showed up there. She got me fucked up. You're not going to be talking to comment what the fuck my business is. Get the fuck up out of here. Find you some business. You worry about my business now. Worry about the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. Worry about the fuck you talking about, bitch. Worry about what the fuck you doing. You want to show your face? Good day. Talk to her. Go talk, go talk to her. Go live. She lied. The fuck? Talking about you ain't got the motherfucking show your face. That's the fuck you do? How the fuck you want to tell me how to run something over here? Yeah, you can do. Got to show your face ugly ass. So, the fuck? I need to see how ugly you is so I can read your stupid ass. I, I can, bitch, so I can motherfuck. Bitch, so I can tell you how I can talk about your gap in your mouth and tell you how the fuck you look like uh Keisha Cole mom. I can tell you, I can tell you all that. Bitch, you got to get your issue too. Bitch, the fuck? Talking about you, I ain't got to show my face. Girl, where the fuck you get that from? Stop it, niece. You want to talk show shit, but don't want to stand on it. Girl, stop it. Not over here. I'm a blogger. Blogger and a troll. And I say that clearly and carefully. So, bitch, if I'm a blogger and a troll, bitch, what the fuck you think I'm supposed to do, bitch? Talk about people business. How else are you going to know about people business? There's nobody that's going to cover her because she's boring. <laughs> nobody else is going to cover her. Nobody's going to tell y'all the truth about these fools. Nobody else. I'm the one that broke every story about these fools that y'all think is real. That all y'all think, they show y'all what they want y'all to see. They show y'all, oh, I got this, I got that, I'm this and I'm that. Come buy more stuff for me so I can get more stuff to stun in you front of. But I'll show you who these bitches really are. I'll show you who these bitches really are. I'll show you how Judy is uh, abusive and using children and put them in slave contracts. I showed you that. Lil James was on Steve Harvey. I freed Lil James. That's what you're not understanding. I do it for the kids. I do it for the love. I do it for little coins too. But at the end of the day, it's not even that serious. That is, who, is, who is she talking? Girl, she didn't say my name. They are insane. They are insane. Baby, there's too much research out there. She didn't say my name. Okay, let us let me show you how. So let me see what happened this time. So y'all see, she didn't say my name. Girl, y'all sound stupid as fuck. Y'all sound dumb as fuck. Y'all really sound stupid as fuck. Now let's, do, let's go into it. She didn't say my name. Girl, what? Hold on. Let's, let's just get some receipts. Don't tell me what she, what she talk about, how she not talk about me. The fuck, come on, man. Hold on, cause I blocked that bitch. I'm gonna go out of here. Hold on, girl, girl, come on. Don't play with me when I'm behind this computer, man. Please, 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 please. Don't play with me when I'm behind the computer. Don't play with me. It's too easy to get. Girl, what is that? Damn. Hold on. I gotta get it, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck. Hold on. 
I gotta get, I'm on the phone and I want to hold on, bitch. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Just, damn, I love this phone real. Fuck, why? Every time y'all do this, I'm on the phone and I need to be on. But let's not, let's not, let's not, let's keep this clear real quick. Perfect. So listen, so don't say she never talk about me, because you're lying. All right. Fuck. No, it's not going to work. OK. Damn. Hold on, hold on. I got to go on another page, because it ain't going to work for this page. All right, this might work. Can I not put it here? All right. This might work. I don't want y'all to see it. <laughs> I can't show my burn page. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this page here don't like me. This is a post about me on this page. I am showing the page because I never give them no clout. Never, never that. But ain't this her right there? Ain't that her on a post about me? Here's another post about them. And guess what? They already they, look, look, look. Period. What are you talking about? Look, all up in the comments. All up in the comments. Is this not her? This is me. These people are stealing my content. But ain't this her? Ain't that her? Ain't that her? Ain't this her? Ain't this her? And her minions? What did you talk about? She don't talk about me. I'm trying to figure out. Ain't this her? She watched everything I do. What did you talk about? This is the whole burn page. You on a burn page? You responded in a burn page. Don't you got a business to run a sale or do, bitch? The fuck you were if you so but you unbothered by shake. But you that's all right. Girl, there's so much stuff I can show y'all. So stop tell, don't tell me this is very recently. So don't come tip. Yes, you know I got receipts. But just, if it ain't got if it's not if you ain't got a receipt, it's not tea. I always have my facts. I do got a few pages. <laughs> so I'm trying to know where y'all at now. I thought she don't talk about me. I thought she don't address me. I thought she don't she's unbothered. I thought all of that. What did you talk about? Yeah, it was two days ago. Stop playing with me. Stop fucking. Why is y'all doing that? Don't tell me she's not bothered by me. Don't tell me. When I, bitch, stop playing. I thought y'all was. No, no. I thought. No, I thought y'all. Oh, okay. Okay. Where you at, Beast Beats? Oh, she paid? Okay, good. I'm glad she paid. What's next? That's going to stop me from being on her neck? I wouldn't give a fuck. That's gonna stop me from being a man. The bitch threatened my life. I don't care if she paid or not. She gonna always get it from shaking. What the fuck? Send a request, B Sweets. Oh, no, I'm gonna Hold on. I'm gonna always be on her neck. So don't think she don't be picking, because she do. Don't think she be motherfucking so innocent. Y'all think this woman is so innocent. I got to prove this to y'all every fucking time. Hey, Shake, how you doing, baby? What's up? Long time to see. Yeah. Now, before we start the conversation, because you're heated, so don't go off on me, because you know I love you. I love you too. I would never, I, I, I never go for you. Hey, I'm coming in here because I love you. I don't have nothing personal against her. Okay. But I just want to talk to you as somebody who I feel like I care about, who I've had dialogue with. <laughs> I feel like it's personal for you because it's something personal that you were dealing with. And when, when, it touched something like that. It's not about super no more. It's about something that's internal. I heard you say the other day, she don't know what you was going through when she went death upon you. So my real concern is not about y'all beef. I feel like that ain't my business. Like I said, I don't have nothing personal against you or her. You know, I just want to ask, did it touch a place because of something you were dealing with on your own? No, it was awkward because, all right, so understand, I promoted for her before, and we didn't have, she followed me, I followed her. I asked to do an interview with her before. Um, she didn't schedule it, or we didn't schedule it, something happened, we, you know, just life, or whatever the case may be. So I was all right with her. I was really put onto her by my own child. My own child was definitely a follower of her. My own child definitely had the makeup. 
my own child was, was really a, a love with her story. My, yeah, uh, I bought, I bought lip gloss from my her as well. You know, I, I was proud of a black woman, you know, coming from the city, you know. So I don't know her personally. I just was happy that she was a black person that was making makeup and doing good right. for herself. So even in promoting her for her and getting that stuff, like you know what I'm saying. So I didn't. So truthfully speaking, the story that when I did block the story, it was only after I told her about the story in February. I blocked about the story in August. The reason it took so many months is because it was the other stuff going on in between that. Now the first thing about that was this: after I told about it, she gave me a nasty old thank you, and was like, "That was it." The next thing, what happened was. She, she either unfollowed me and I unfollow her. Cause you, you and, and I'm not gonna follow nobody that don't follow me, it's what it is. But especially, I don't care who you is on her. But, okay, so I follow her. She don't follow me, I follow her. So it's, it's social media at this point. But I'm like, okay, whatever, it's no see. But then mysteriously, my page start getting deleted. And how I made money at the time through bounce music, through blogging and doing my promos. This is how I fed my family. But every like I think she was scared I was gonna block the story. So my page constantly get deleted, 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 deleted. Every time I do something, ever just getting reported, reported, reported. And so I mean at least three, four times back to back, my page got deleted. And it's weeks to get it back. Now I don't know, like at the at the time, my income was definitely different than it is now. So you gotta understand, I was working a full-time job, blogging full-time and emceeing full time just to make ends meet. I had just come home from prison and and, and so Every penny, like, because if you listen to the video, she calls me all kind of bums and stuff. She even had the bum sale because, like, I, and there's no shade because at the time I was crawling. I'm, 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 I'm standing up a little bit now, but I was crawling back then. So every gig I didn't get was it meant something. That means my children didn't eat. Mm -hmm. that. Or they didn't eat that. I'm not saying they didn't eat, but it was like I'm taking less out my kids' mouth. I'm taking food out my kids' mouth. Every promo that I didn't post, it meant something. You feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, twenty dollars might not mean nothing to you. Cause you, if you got money, but for somebody who living, check the check. <laughs> Go ahead, nigga, to be my mama girl texting me in the middle of the, here, here. But if you living, I'm living check the check, and I'm coming home from prison, so I'm trying to be a a a, 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 a least financially a father where I wasn't there physically, and so I'm trying to do the right thing. And so every gig I didn't book, that food out their mouth. Every and, I, and people tell you on this live, I used to come on this live and begging for people to send me Taco Bell money because I could make ends meet sometimes. And this is just where I come from. That's my story. And gotcha. so you constantly playing these crackhead games with me because you think I might say something about you. And I wasn't doing that. So the confirmation come for me when I got the text message. She texting Dina Marie. She texting Slim Stunner. She telling them, stop talking to him. He's a messy punk, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So I ended up blocking her. She ended up blocking me back. And there's no Tino Shade. So I'm about to, so I, I'm starting to find out this stuff about Judy. There's a book about Judy about to come out about a girl, Dia. And me and Dean Bell was cool at the time. We the, Now, it's nothing about her. It was really about Judy. Not about her in this book. Not about her is damaging. But you know how they play. They don't want nobody to know the truth about them. So as I'm blogging and blogging and blogging, but I'm doing more and more blogging about more national stuff a little bit more, but not as much. Of the, you know, I used to do the local New Orleans TA3. And so when I come to the point of, first of all, you're taking all it, you, you know, now do I, so listen, I just be honest, I'm a person, I'm human. Do I have definitive proof that she was the one to get my page deleted? I can't say that for sure. I don't have definitive proof. Do I have definitive proof that she was talking about me behind my back? So Slim Stunner telling Slim, Slim Stunner would be coming in the room and just be laughing. She don't never say nothing. Slim Stunner would just come in and just, all you would see Slim Stunner do was put up laughing signs. She'd never be a part of the conversation. And so, of course, there was rumors that Lou was her baby dad and all that stuff like that, but that was not true. We know that not to be true. So anyway, she tells Slim Stunner, that's why you get that because you always go in that much ass punk room, this, that, and the other. And I'm noticed for it to be fact. I'm hit, I had whatever. When it, when it comes to girl Dina Marie, she telling Dina Marie, the one who she stole our black holes from, Dina Marie, she texted Dina Marie. I got the text message. You, that messy ass, faggot ass punk, this, that, and the other. Why am I all kind of messy punk, sister? And that's when we block her. Like, girl, stop it. Like, I could, so she would give me a charge of being a messy punk. I could really be one. And because she knew, I had said that on live one time. I was like, you keep giving me the charge of being a messy punk, I'm going to be a messy punk. The next thing you know, my page gets down. Boom. So it's at the end of the day, she like being an internet gangster. She threatened to, she threatened to um, 
she threatened the motherfucking um the uh the psychic lady. She, the memory loss shit was going on. I covered the story just like any other blog site. I was unbiased. I didn't say nothing. But she didn't want me to cover it. Everybody else could cover it, but Shanky can't cover it. I could, everybody else could talk about what's going on, but Shanky can't do it. Like, you really try to hold me down. <clears throat> there was a television show. That's another thing. Y'all not realizing this woman is not who she's saying to be, and she's really been fucking with me for a long time. I've been fucking with her, too. I'm not saying, like, I'm innocent, but she's not either. There was a television show. Mona Scott came down here, and she was doing a thing. I'm going to talk about it now, because whatever, whatever. She told the people, Mona Scott wants to get a show. Mona Scott wants to get a show. She told the people, I ain't doing no show with two people. Rodney Roos said, Marlon Harden, that's me and Tim Warbuck. I would never do it. But Mona Scott said, we don't have no show in here, so you have an antagonist. And we want to do the show with it. So I'm not saying whatever, whatever. So they might not even doing a pilot or anything. They did a pilot for something else, but they didn't pick that up. But I'm not just, that's just something, that's just bullshit. But I got the, I have shown the proof of that too, if y'all want to go look, look it up. Not Love and Hip Hop, it was going to be like a, it wasn't going to be called No Love and Hip Hop in New Orleans. It was going to be like a spin off, but she was going to be with the main character on the show. No shame. That's the thing over there. But she was like, I refuse to do this. If y'all put, but they were gonna put me or Tim Wall Book or me and Tim Wall Book. I saw people with Tim Wall Book and just say, I'm not nothing to do with him. But anyway, because I'm I wasn't with like with him. I'm just telling you what she said. I I was talking about that in extension on a lot. Not to say that you just spread my life, not to just say that you just kept getting my page to me, not to just say all that stuff there. But my daughter ordered her orders her products and like her liked her products before this. I didn't spend money on buying stuff for my child for her, with her. And so to hear you say you want her daddy dead, who provides for her, is the dumbest. Like, what the fuck? You're not even thinking because of a nigga that don't love you, that using you, and you found out months later, everything was true. Everything was true. So at the end of the day, so you did all that for what? For what? You made an enemy for life. For what? I can't never be your friend. So yes, it's personal. I have had food took out my children's mouth. I had to watch the disappointment in my child's eyes and face because this was a bitch she idolized, and I hated that. Then I had to watch this bitch make sure she closed doors and opportunities. Then on top of that, I had to listen to this bitch that she want me dead. She was gonna be watching Power, and she was gonna head and how it was done. And people in the live said, "Yeah, we go. Yeah, that's this right." But I never called. But I call her miserable, and I'm wrong. I call her ugly. I talked about her like a dog. There ain't no question about it. I'm not going to say I didn't. I am very good to that. I am very good to that. I have talked about her like a dog many times. And there's no question. But one thing you're never going to find on no video, you're going to never find me wishing death upon her, and you're never going to find me talking about her kids. I have defended her kids. I will defend her kids right now. I don't block people out the line. I said, I don't even come over here because that baby did me nothing. I love her child. I love both of them. And I was the best for them. She done yeah. Come on, man. It's internet games. So, yes, it's personal. I'm never going to be her friend. I'm going to always be on her neck. And if you don't like it, don't, you're, and, and the only two options you have, block me so you don't have to see me do it or sit back and watch the motherfucking festivity. That's the only two options. Ain't nothing else going to be about it. Nobody can tell me nothing about it. Nobody can make me not want to do it no more. If I see her wear a pair of shoes I don't like, I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, but see, I never followed, like I said, I followed part of the story when I came in, but I never followed, like, the full story of what happened between y'all, because honestly, I, in my person, me personally, I don't like confusion, I like solutions, and if you get to a place where say, hey, these two people can't get along, or we can't find a common ground, you accept that, either you're going to like it or you don't, because I can't make you do nothing, I can't make her do nothing, but I just know from personal dialogue that me and you have, you know, my love for you, your love for me, you know, and my love for successful people, I want people to make it, I just want to make sure that, that it's understood what was going on and that you were in a healthy place. And the reason I said that is because I know you've had conversations and me, you've had conversations about suicide. You know what I'm saying? And you talked about your struggle with, you know, contemplating suicide. And like I said yesterday, uh, uh, the other day when you was on live, you said um, you don't, she didn't know where you was in your life at the time that she wished that the on you. And I, to me, listen to that deeper than just a conversation on Instagram. I'm a person who's like, okay, was he in a place of suicidal thoughts? Did this bring him back to a place that he had to relive? And is it is it personal? Is it a personal hurt? Did she, did she touch a spot, you know, that brings you back to a place of trauma in your life? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I and that's just Girl. a question I want, you know, I wanted to ask. I feel like uh, I'm not here to make you, you know, only God could do what needs to be done for that situation. That ain't that ain't my job. That ain't my place. 
you know, but just to make sure there's clarity and just to say, hey, are you good? Where where did that take you mentally? Like what she said, it really took you somewhere mentally, but now it seems that it's not just what she said. It was just a series of things, you know, because it seemed like, this is what it seemed like. It seemed like, oh, she did you this one thing and you go so hard on her when you like, no, that ain't that ain't the case. It's a muscle shit. It's a muscle shit. It's what they say. Doctor, doctor, doctor. We know wow. what you want. We know what you want. Baking it, yeah. We you know. Smarter than the average bears, I guess. <laughs> so, um, oh shit. Yeah, it's just, it, it is just like this. Listen, when I and listen, I'm not gonna say I'm, I come from a place of nothing. I came out of prison and you know nothing. The feds had seized a lot of my money. I was paying. You know, I couldn't spend no money. Every time I spent over, baby, I was on parole. I was on financial crime. So every time I spent over fifty dollars, my parole officer had to move. So anyway, my mama, I was living with my mama. And it's no shame in my game. My mama asked me to pay one bill. But that bill is dependent on me getting a gig, or me getting a booking, or me getting a show. They didn't laugh at me because I take because I used to take $25, $50 per gig. I had to. My mama asked me to pay one bill. I came to pay my but, one well, bill. I'm, well, let me speak this into you at the same time, though, Shaky. They not God. Just because a delay don't mean a denial. Now, I'm going to tell you that just, just coming from me personally to tell that from me to you. To say that I understand what you're saying and I'm not taking away from it, but don't ever give nobody no. that power to think that they stopped your bag. They they probably did some hindrance, but weapons gonna fall. And they're not gonna prosper. You still got your house. You still got your kids. Your kids still got everything that they need, and God's still gonna open doors. So I'm saying that to say that your blessings don't stop at the hands of super or nobody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to be honest with you. My ex-husband wished death upon me. He called and left it on my phone, told me he was going to shoot me in my face. You know, on, on my on my voicemail. And guess what? I was broke and struggling and didn't have nothing to say that. And it was like you was kicking me while I was down. And truth be told, it hindered me for a long time. Like, I want to hear that. Like, I was like, okay, it's up there. And I went to God like, God, I need you to release this from me because is hindering my life. I need to let this go because it's, it's, it's got a hold on me. Like, it was so deep and so personal where I was like, okay, I'm locked and loaded, and I'm about to go. We're going to see who's going to kill each other first. And honestly, I had to free that for me. And guess what? Not shaking. I'm a homeowner. I'm living. I have a decent savings. I have my kids. I own a business. I got a new car. I, I, I'm saying that to say that don't ever give nobody that type of power. Yeah, they may have have yeah, did some evil things, but they ain't got power like God got. That's that's the real deal. That that's just me being real with you from somebody who care about you. Nobody have the power to stop nothing that God have for you. Right. Honestly, because if you look back over your life, there's a lot of things that's been done that that you should have been out of here for. You should have been dead. You should still be in jail. But guess what? You out. You own your own home. You have your own kids. So you got to look at the blessing and stop giving to me super. The power to think that she did something to you because she really didn't. She she really in a sense didn't. She 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 threw you know the devil gonna throw his 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 stones his weapons. But guess what? They they not gonna prosper. I feel like I don't, they ain't got nobody on this earth powerful enough to stop what God had for me. Period. So you could you could get mad. You could talk about me. You could drag for me. You could go say over here because guess what? When you think you locking one door, God unlocking another one. Period. So you can say what you want to say. As long as I know I'm on the up and up, God created me a clean heart. I'm gonna get up every day and do my best to right my wrongs. You go, you go have shake it. This probably don't be the only thing that come your way after this. They gonna have somebody come ten times harder than this. And yeah. me and you had this conversation before about you being a blogger. If you won't go deeper in blogging, it's gonna come harder, way harder. So. I'm not saying I'm not taking lightly what happened to you, you know, because we you, we human that hurt, you know, but I I also know you a blessed person. I also know that God will make a way out of nowhere. And I also know God keep doors open. So I to, to from, from somebody who love you, I think that that power that she that she had on what she did release, man, forget that and let that go. Because guess what? It didn't stop nothing. You became a homeowner after that. Right. After yeah. that. Right. You, you, for real. After you had the struggle, after you had mama, you ain't had twenty dollars. Guess what? You still end up prospering, and you know, 
and and guess what, Shaky J? And I don't know you personally, but guess what? There's probably things that you've done to people that you had to be forgiven for. Yeah, so you, you know, got yes. to forgive that you gotta look. You know, I I want peace out the situation. I don't want to feel like years later I look back and Shaky still talking about something God that blessed him too much, man. That's dead. I feel like form your weapons. They ain't gonna prosper. You're not God. Period. So. That, that's how I look at it for you, for her, for anybody. I, I want everybody to win, and I don't want you to be hindered by a stumbling block. It's, it, it, you may have failed. You know, you may have tripped up, but you didn't fall. You didn't stop. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you go sit in the barbershop and get a haircut. That's probably a time you couldn't do that. No, you're right. So, I like, let me, because I know how he feel when it comes to her. I don't want him to bite my head off. Cause I ain't trying to come on here and defend nobody. I just no, no, no. I'm no. A pro well, I like when you tell it because I need to hear that. I, I, let me, I and I just I, I I appreciate that. I offer her. I didn't. I don't want. I don't care about this woman like that. To be honest, with you. Be, sister, I just did a um a audition for a show called American Gangster Trap Queens, where they talk about people who was formerly incarcerated, or or, or you know just that they, they used to do what. And and, and look, I done did over ten million dollars worth of fraud in my life. But I'm also ain't have ten dollars to get to 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 and my and, and my son needed something for school and I ain't had the ten dollars to get him. So I know both spectrum. I know every side. I know everything in between. I know the top and I know the bottom. I know the rock bottom. I'm gonna say that. I know the rock bottom. So, uh, so I I, I agree with you. I don't want this woman. Ain't, this woman ain't something that I want. Like I don't I don't want to do it. I did give her an opportunity. I said, listen. I promise you, I won't say nothing else negative about her. If any wrong is she apologized to Messi Maya, his son, or his, and his family. If you apologize to them because you brought him in here, then he ain't had nothing to do with this. Cool ain't had nothing to do with this. Why are you making mentions and references of Cool? And I offered that. Yeah, thing. I remember you posted I, I, that. I saw what she said. Yeah, I remember that. I said, I promise you this. I won't say nothing negative. I won't block negatively about this woman. I will forget that she exists. She won't even have to worry about that. She'll forget. I, she could forget me. I could forget her. She could go on with her life and do whatever she wants and be great. If she apologized to Koo and his family and his his he have children, you feel what I'm saying? And yeah. So, by, by him. And by the way, uh, you seen that um his baby mom not to cut you off. They took her car. Who? They stole her car down here. Messi Maya. Yeah. yeah. They stole oh. her car off the east the other day, and it uh it hurt me because her son's wheelchair it was in the trunk of the car. So we uh we was doing some stuff trying to you know just get make sure the child gets what they need you know um and getting it in the police report. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there that you know we praying for her in that situation because I couldn't imagine having a child with a handicap and you finally get you a car and then somebody steals your steals your car right. and takes your child's wheelchair. The check you know right. And that's and that's and that and and, and I, man stuff like that hurts me to my core. But see, and this is and, and see, this is what but, but hurt me. One day, Mr. My son will go look up his daddy on the tool, and they go see a lot of stuff about him and all the great uh, accomplishments he did and the, the 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 humor that he brought to people, the smiles that he brought to people, and then he go find what this bitch said because it's gonna be one of the things he gonna see. If you if he can't find an apology to that, I feel like I'm I don't you know I <laughs> that's the that's see. <laughs> And I, I, I do. I swear to God. I ask myself sometimes, what would Maya do? Would Maya give up? Would Maya be calling her a Chrysler built bitch every day? Probably so. Every single day of every single minute. Would y'all be saying Maya upsets? I don't know. Well, at the end of the day, I know he wouldn't stop. And so why would I? Because she used him to try to disrespect me. And that was uncalled for. If you want to disrespect me, that's fine. Cool. I got to eat that. But if you're going to use what happened to him and the tragedy of his death, and his family and his children got to see it. And I've talked to some of the cousins. They want the whoop at one time. I don't know how they feel about it now. Because this happened a while ago. And I pray that they all for the forgiveness. But at the end of the day, if she would have just said, I'm sorry to Maya. I ain't fuck shaking. I'm sorry to Maya. I'm sorry to your family. Or buy the people a new wheelchair. You're buying everything else. Did you trick off to these niggas every day? Buy the, new, buy the baby a wheelchair. Go, buy, go get her a car. You bought the punk a car. Why? You bought the poker car, buy her car. Buy her car. Show some, some type of respect or reverence for these people. You from New Orleans, huh? Y'all gonna tell us how to do that? Y'all gonna tell us how to do that? Y'all tell us, well, guess who get her car? Let's go and, and, and let me buy the baby a wheelchair since I did disrespect the child's father. 
I understand. Yeah, I I just know, you know, I just wanted to come speak my PC. I ain't want to stay, you know, if anybody else want to join, I'm going to let, let you go. But I wanted to say that I also know as a blogger, you know, you I don't want, I don't want your personal to override your business side. Because I know when you get into it with this and your personal feelings, it, you go there. That's why I was like, I don't want to join it. And he take it the wrong way because I know how you could go. You know, I know how you can, I watch, you know, and I've seen how you can get, but I also know being a great blogger, blowing up beyond how, how to me, I imagine you want to become, it, it's sometimes going to take you to take the personal out because you don't want your personal to override your business side. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. So y'all go ahead. I'm about to order me some KFC. They mean you all tore up. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm not about to get it to you. <laughs> I'm just y'all make, sure make sure y'all follow Beast Speaks. She always have a good word. She's very much Love more <laughs> she's very much more eloquent than I am. I see OG Nunu up in here. Make sure y'all follow her too. She got some good she got some good game. Get her book. <laughs> y'all would love it. I tell you, I bought it. I purchased it. No, that's not even no, that's not even no paid promo. I purchased it. I loved it. Every second, I go look at it. There sometimes they give me some stuff. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> but she did come with a word. I can't come with them words. I don't speak eloquently as those sisters. Those are some positive, strong sisters that we should be talking about instead of talking about this big nose bitch. And all she do is take your money and stun on you. She's not who she seemed to be. I love y'all. Let me go enjoy a little bit of Miami. <laughs>